kids! Welcome back to Sunday School Lesson Time. I am Teacher Evelyn. Today, we are going to learn that God judges his enemies and saves his people. God judges his enemies and saves his people. Can you repeat after me? God judges his enemies and saves his people. Hmm, who are God's enemies? God's enemies are those people who say, No, God. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to follow God. They say, Go away, God. Who are God's people? God's people are those people who follow God and worship God. Do you remember what are God's people called? They are called the people of Israel. Remember kids, God judges his enemies and saves his people. After saving the people of Israel from Egypt, God was going to bring them to the promised land so that they could worship God. But they were other God's enemies living in the land. God was going to judge the enemies and clear them out of the land. But God saved one person even though she was living with the enemies in the land. Her name is Rahab. Today, we are going to see God saves Rahab. Even though she is not the people of Israel, God did not see her as enemy because Rahab followed God and worshipped God. The people of Israel had to fight with the enemies who were living in the land. So, Joshua sent two men to check out the land and see what things were like in the land. They checked the wall, they checked the land, they checked the weather, and they checked the people. Then, the king of enemies found out about it and he wanted to find the two men and kill them. Rahab saw the men in her house and they asked her to help them escape. Now Rahab had two choices. She could either help the king and his soldiers to find the two men and kill them. But if she did that, she would be God's enemy. Or she could help the two men escape and help the people of Israel. But if she did that, her king would kill her. Kids, if you were Rahab, what would you do? Would you be on God's side and help the two Israelite men? Or would you be on king's side? But you will be God's enemy. So Rahab thought and thought and thought. And she said, The God of Israel is the one true God. He judges his enemies and saves his people. I don't want to be his enemy. I want to follow him and worship him. So I will help the two men. So Rahab helped the two men and put her life in danger because Rahab knew God. And she wanted to follow God, listen and obey God, and worship God. God did not see her as an enemy. So when God sent the people of Israel to judge his enemies, everyone was killed. But God saved Rahab and her family. Kids, if we do not follow Jesus, do not want to listen to him, and say no to Jesus, we are actually God's enemy. 
and God will judge us. But if we follow Jesus and worship Him, God will not see us as enemy anymore. We will be His people and He will save us from His judgment. That is why we need to trust in Jesus. Kids, now let's pray. Dear God, thank you for teaching me that you are a God who judges your enemy and save your people. We know that if we do not follow you and worship you, we are your enemy and you will judge us. But if we follow and worship Jesus, we are your people and you will save us from your judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.